You're shivering. Are you afraid? Shana. All right, so in this matchup, I'm hoping that Raza is near the bottom. Or Anduin's near the bottom. Which one is better? Anduin being near the bottom or Raza near the bottom? One of the two would like to be near the bottom. What shall I ask? Ice block, huh? I probably should have played it. I will have time to play it again later, though. Probably. Oh, I want to try to time it so that he tries to play around it somehow. Yeah, that's that's the sneaky way of playing it. Oh, crap. Yeah, that might be okay. No, this is fine. Big Priest is way less scary than... Huh, it would be best if I could kill off my own Firefly somehow. And then he can't res... Uh, it's only 4 damage a turn also. That's fine. Oh, and here's where I, like, scare him into not call casting Eternal Servant here. Perfect. Spooky. Ah, oh, crap, I actually had Counterspell as a choice. This card is absolutely useless against them. Aha! Trick. <laughs> and that's why you don't just cast Ice Block when you have a spare mana. That deck definitely runs probably two Potion of Madness. Guess we'll take this one. Okay, there's a lot of things I need to Polymorph in that deck. This is one of the... this is not necessarily one of them, is the thing. There are things that are scarier. I think my... yeah. I definitely don't have an aggressive enough start to beat him down. So therefore, I have to try to answer all of the threats. Since there's already a Obsidian Statue in the Deadpool, and it's only got one Servitude left, we should just start planning out on how to kill everything. And Polymorph is the better way to kill what stuff. Uh, so now I should use the more inefficient way. Could throw a Mana Worm into here. Since I'd actually like the 4-1 to survive over the 2-3. That's good. Doesn't adding a sheep to the Deadpool help in the long run? Not really. There's always going to be enough choices. The statue is one of the worst choices to resurrect against me. I'm much more afraid of the Lich King or Ysera. Wow, the face damage. No respect. Alright, fine. I still think he has two Potion of Madness, so we're going to try to play Pyros at some pretty specific timings. How much of an improvement would Pyros be for this deck while we're talking about Pyros? I'm not sure if he would be an improvement for this deck at all. That's why I haven't really nuked the collection to craft Pyros. One of the reasons why. It's possible that Pyros is actually pretty bad in this meta. It's too slow against Tempo Rogue, Preset Potion of Madness, Jade Druid. It's too slow against them. And since it's a mage card, you get it all the time with Servant of Calamus. It's possible that Pyros isn't even necessary. If polluting his dead pull isn't your win condition, what is? Well, let's just outlast him. Pretty easy. I mean, not easy, but that's the plan, since I have no other plan. Seems to be working, now. Outvaluing with the hero power is a pretty big deal. I can try to... actually, I should probably 
Fire Flame Phoenix, my own Pyrus. Yeah, that's the way that I should cast this. I could also think about doing it when I have no minions on the board. Six, seven, yep, perfect. This might have overdone it. No, this is fine. This is just barely slightly overdoing it. Uh, mostly afraid of pint-sized aura here. That Dragonfire Potion turn is very unusual on his side. So in the case that this doesn't get killed randomly, then I can fire blast it. If it does, then I don't need to fire blast it. Would be the idea. Nice. Or I mean, uh, fine, either way. Oh, play the Pyros first. No, that was a great idea. Oops. I should have done Pyros first. Yep. I think we've got our fourth obsidian statue here. Hey, I'm not gonna take the bait. It's just... afraid. Need to save that polymorph. One do I really not want him to bring back? Grimmy gets really close. He only has one resurrect left, anyways. I'll just kill the tougher one. You can only resurrect the Lich King twice more. Uh, if he Shadow Visions the other. Eternal Servitude, and then it's like a 50-50 if he has Eternal Servitude or Shadow Visions first. We won't even always get offered the Lich King because there's like four obsidian statues, a sheep, and barns in there. Alright, so here are the threats I have to deal with remaining. There's Ysera, there's Eternal Servitude, alright, Ysera's still in the deck. Do a trade for a trade Pyrus, but he probably has Anduin or Death. So Pyros is a pretty weak play. I'd have to bait out for Pyros. Which never is gonna work because he knows I has Pyros. I has Pyros. Okay, answer to you, Sarah, somewhere down the line. The flame strike play was worth considering too. Flames consume you. This could easily come down to fatigue, so I guess I won't draw. I don't want to have Anduin kill two things either. Okay, so threats. Servitude, possibly two servitudes. So it's like 1.5 servitude, depending on how lucky it is. There's another shadow essence in there, which means like a 5 5 Ysera. Ysera herself, I think that's it. Four threat, uh, three threats? Kind of three ish threats. Meteor deals with one of them. Oh, 
It was actually a good turn to play Pyros because Pyros was pretty much going to die to uh, death at some point or another. It's not like it can play around it. So it would have been a good turn to play Pyros and then have him do the death on it. And we'll do it this turn. I think he always plays death here. But maybe this time I've inadvertently denied him his Ysera then. Because if he didn't draw Ysera there, I would have played it. And if he cast Death, he can't play Ysera. Ends up being pretty unimportant. Well, it's a good thing I played against big priests like once before in the free to play run. Uh, it's that expertise which leads me to know not to draw cards because it'll go down to fatigue and not to play more cards because it'll get water elemental or because it'll get potion of it'll get pint size plus hard just taking it nice and easy to not polymorph any of the four eights because that's actually the weakest card in the deck Just hold on to that for a while Okay, good. He actually, I'm very happy he has Eternal Servitude here, because it means he doesn't have Shadow Visions for another Servitude. So that's one threat down, due to the order he drew Visions and Servitude. Good enough Flame Strike here. Alright, only threat left. Right, Nisera. I think that was the only threat left. Think about it. There's like a Shadow Visions, but there's nothing left to Shadow Visions in that deck. That's it. In case I'm wrong, I have a Meteor. So I've decided, after getting walloped a bunch by Zoo, that Galaki Crawler is going to be my savior. Uh, doing the stats, it seems to hit about one third to half of the time, which is a really good card right now. And I'll go ahead and toss two into this deck. You've got a lot of gold. Well, yes, I do. So it seems like Unguro is just like this deck is very Unguro-y. Go ahead and open four Unguro packs. The dream is to open Galaka, also possibly good as opening Arcanologist. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty lucky legendary. I mean, it's... It's trash, but it is 400 dust. It's pretty awesome. Oh, also outside chance of getting Pyrus. Downside of crafting Tark Reaper. Now I open the uh, commons I craft. I was actually thinking about running like an ooze of some sort. Uh, not in this meta though. Well, that was a pretty rich packing. Which is good because I've actually opened very few epics, but that was a lot of dust. Uh, no Galaka Crawler, but each epic I open is a Galaka Crawler. Alright, so we go ahead and disenchant Unite the Murlocs. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I still have Ozark here. Yeah, we can disenchant Ozark too. That is just absolute trash. Alright, so I've been languishing a bit. I've actually had a below 50% win rate for the last two days of playing. So there definitely needs to be some sort of change to be made. 
And I am going to put my faith in the crab. Galaka Crawler. Strong against Zoo. Strong against Rogue. Strongish against Token Shaman. Uh, I can kill the patches there too. Uh, and just a number of aggressive decks run patches plus some sort of one drop. Uh, I believe as I rank up, I'm expected to face more rogues as well. So. Praise the Galaka. Wait, I just realized something though. Hold on. Before I just go ahead and craft that, I do still have 200 more gold. So, I'm going to just open two more Angoro packs. Journey to Angoro! Journey to Angoro! Da -da 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 -da. Ah, told your stone shaper. No, no crab. Opening a Galactic Crawler is just as lucky as opening an Epic, by the way. Opening a Legendary, though, is like four Galactic Crawlers. Alright. Praise the Crab. You are... going to carry me on your hard-shelled back, hopefully. This is the first time I've changed the deck in a very long time. In honesty, I thought that I would just coast with the deck as is to Legend, but now I feel like, like it's going to be very tough. Okay, here we go. And it's also a good compromise versus Volcanic because Galaka is good against all the decks that Volcanic is good against. Alright, praise Galaka. This is it. This is the game where the entire game changes based off of my crabby friend. Sometimes. Boo. No, well, he didn't have a pirate either. It's okay. Galaka will come crawling out exactly the moment where he needs to. Like, Galaka is never late, blah blah blah. Yeah, praise Galaka. It's possible that that pirate will stay on the board. So many wonderful For Galaka to eat. Mm. Oh, he's here! Just in time! <laughs> All according to plan. It's not actually that bad if he uh, does the shadow step, shadow step, you know, with the potion, whatnot. It's a little bit late in the game for this to matter anymore. It's turn five. So, missed three times. Oh my gosh. It's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna beat him before this matters. It's fine. Let's see, how do I get punished by leaving Kaliseth on the board? Cold blood, but that's fine. He has to like, basically play his topped card every turn. And that's backstab, it seems. Yay. Oh, the punish. Alright, fine. We 
want to just do a bunch of damage to the face. Who cares if his minions have plus... Four, plus four. His face only has nine health. The shadows oh, that's pretty good. Need three. And rogues are infamous for not having an ability to heal, also. Let's see, so I want Fire Plume Phoenix. Brothers, hmm, that'll actually be lethal next turn, also. Praise Galaka! His inclusion heralds a new era of winning. Crawler! Crawl to me! Gus! Two mana, three, four, no overload. Feels good, man. Mm. That might be useful. Praise Galaka Crawler! Praise Galaka Crawler! We have arrived at the answer. The only question is do I want to kill Patches or do I want to cast Primordial Glyph? I actually want to kill Patches. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Missiles and then geyser on this would be nice if I had hit. Molten Reflection is a little bit speculative, but... And then that third choice. Don't quite remember what it was, but... It didn't seem to be very good. Anyways, if I do win this game... Or even if I do lose the game... Galaka Crawler... Had a huge impact. You can say that at least. You're not making it to rank 5. Not after my brilliant metagame call. Okay. It's Operation Protect Mana Worm then. Or do I double up on the Mana Worm? Nah, protect Mana Worm. Come on, Patches Mage. It's 
So I think Galactic will get in the... We'll either trade one for one, or we'll get in some amount of damage of beats. And then trade one for one. Oh, not against Arcanologist, though. We have many secrets. Hmm. Let's still praise Galaka. Excuse me, you are on fire. Very important date. Might have to blaze face. Yep. Nice that I have the luxury of doing that, I guess. I think my weakest card is this card. It's actually this card, but... I do need some way to trigger this counterspell, and the Frostbolt is a good card against that card. Okay, we made it into late game, and I have um, a better late game than the opponent does, so. Feels good. Oh! Okay, that's still fine. I don't ever have to really play minions. I do really want to uh, get my Fire Blast to hit that, yeah, this is fun. The main problem with Counterspell is Frostbolt on this, and then Polly on that leaves him with an Icy Touch target. But if I take an Icy Touch target and he takes an Icy Touch target, we're all good. I don't want the mana worm to get mirrored, I suppose. Oh my gosh. The wreckage. No, I should have played mana worm also. Well, no, I didn't know it wasn't mirroring me. More secrets. So, two counter spell and fireball have now been played. So it can't be Counterspell. This one's probably the mirror, right? It could be Ice Block. What? Another secret? 
Alright, one of them's near. I'm gonna have a good time here. Shivering. Are you afraid? I'm late. I'm late. Oh, wow, another one. Definitely expecting the block arena. Oh. Well. The good old original Ice Queen and King. I can see to your power. Praise Galaka! Praise Galaka! I need your energy to draw the Galaka on the mulligan here. Praise Galaka! That's good enough. We'll, we'll credit the Galaka for that. Oh my gosh. Praise Galaka! Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the second one is here for the captain. I was like, maybe I should have kept it for the captain. Maybe. Alright, not too bad. Galaka took out three cards. Hmm. He played this instead of Captain, which means he doesn't have Captain. He's like, this guy hates pirates. It's true, I do. That's it for him, though. On the bright side, his rogue doesn't have ultimate infestation. We 
we do have answers to the big guys coming out. Well, that's a pretty good draw. isn't even that bad here. That card's pretty bad though. Well, it's alright. It depends. Would I rather Glyph or would I rather Frostbolt? I'd rather Glyph here. In the case that it was counter spell. Saving the other one for combo enabler. Answery hand here. The Brotherhood shall hmm. Are you afraid? Do not fear power. Fear those who wield it. Praise Galaka! Single-handedly carried me in three rogue games! This is like the best tech card I've immediately put in and then gotten rewarded for. And then even against that mage, he helped kill that Kirin Tor. We are truly in the lightest kingdom right now, in the light world. That's four in a row!